Louise Hampton Centre is a charitable organisation that was set up some two years ago. Our aim is to help um, patients, carers and their families um, at a time when they need help most. Um, we deal with um, people with all illnesses and um, we endeavour to um, provide services that they may not be able to access normally. Um, the services cover um, complementary therapy, um, benefits advice, um, we have a, a respiratory choir, um, we deal with um, bereavement services and we have so many support groups um, and we pride ourselves on the fact that we can work really closely um, with the acute hospital. We're based in the grounds of the hospital so that makes that even um, easier for us to do and we are really lucky in that we have um, a carer's lead who has promoted all of our services um, and worked closely um, with the clinical staff in the hospital. The, um, the patient's journey is much easier because hopefully the staff will understand the, the, the concerns of the family carer and therefore how they're able to help with the patient and everything else. Um, so we're hoping to make that transition really smooth. We also offer carers groups here at the centre. We have um, one going on on an evening that support family carers that support people with mental health issues that's on a Tuesday evening we have another one on a Wednesday evening for those that've got multiple cirrhosis and their family carers that come along to the center we have um, a Thursday morning family carers session um, where people come along and that actually started only last September with just four family carers uh, I had a, a human bingo game thought, thinking that I would need an icebreaker but actually it's amazing how everybody support themselves because it started off when we were doing around robbing with names and this lady just said my name is blah blah, my husband has a type of cancer, he also has dementia and he's very aggressive and with that she broke down into, into tears and that just broke the ice, everybody then supported her, they used their own experiences. Um, and, and that group has just grown and grown and formed such a solid um, friendship amongst them all that they, they end up supporting each other. So whatever's said in that group, they know it's a safe environment that other people are experiences, experiencing the same situations. Um, that, that, that group decided they didn't want professionals talking to them. They wanted to come along where they could feel safe and support each other and have more of a social event. So that's turned into a bit of a craft group. Um, we're now starting another a group on a Thursday evening here at the centre, which is specifically a craft group, which has been requested. Uh, we also have two dementia cafes going on here, working again in partnership with Alzheimer's. So it is very much about the partnership working. Um, and we have Alzheimer's coming along, we have people with dementia and their family carers coming and that that started off initially the first Wednesday of the month and now we have to have it two, two days a month because it's just got so busy. We link in very closely again with the hospitals with um, Becky and Sarah who are the dementia liaison nurses. Um, I, I think the, the important thing is the working together and that's what I'm trying to illustrate is, is that the hospital is not a barrier between them and us, it is working together all the time and it is the end user that benefits. We've got volunteers in the centre who've been trained by um, one of the local occupational therapists from the hospital in relaxation techniques, so we're able to deliver those to family carers as well. Um, plus the fact is it's also benefiting the volunteers because they have another skill space. On the first Thursday of the month, we have a group um, running the centre which is for parents of children with autism. So that um, we're working very closely in trying to establish that and build that up. We're putting on uh, learning in Learning Disabilities Week um, in June, we're putting on a workshop for um, parents of children with autism. We're working with a local puppeteer um, to come into the centre as well to work with both the dementia cafes and with the autism, the children with autism. 
to see how, how we, you know, we all know the benefits of, of music with, with learning difficulties and with, with dementia, so we're hoping that the, the puppets will, will have the same effect. So that's a trial we're doing. And next week we're going to be delivering a course here, working again in partnership, and that's a caring with confidence towards the end of life course. Um, again, um, for people of both Norfolk and Suffolk. Um, so again, we're working very closely with the palliative care team from the hospital.